Magandang umaga mga bata! Welcome to our virtual classroom. Ako si Teacher Amy, ang inyong guro ngayong araw na ito. Ang ating pag-aaralan ay tungkol sa energy and work. Kung bago kayo sa channel na ito, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share para ma-notify kayo sa mga bago nating lessons. So, let's start! What is energy? It is the quantitative property that must be transferred to an object in order to perform work or to heat the object. The law of conservation of energy states that energy can be converted in form but not created or destroyed. These are the forms of energy. Radiant, electrical, chemical, sound, thermal, nuclear, mechanical, and magnetic energy. Now, let's take a look at radiant energy. A radiant energy is also called electromagnetic energy. Radiant energy is the movement of photons. All life on Earth is dependent on radiant energy from the sun. Examples of radiant energy include radio waves, the AM, the FM, and the TV, the microwaves, X-rays, and plant growth. Active solar energy uses photovoltaic panels and light to turn radiant energy into chemical energy. Next is the chemical energy. Chemical energy is the energy stored in the bands of atoms and molecules. This a form of potential energy until the bands are broken. Fossil fuels and biomass store chemical energy. Products that contain chemical energy include TNT, baking soda, and a much. Biomass, petroleum, natural gas, propane, and coal are examples of stored chemical energy. Let's move on to electrical energy. Electrical energy is the movement of electrons. Lightning and static electricity are examples of electrical energy that occur naturally. Science hasn't found a way to use natural forms of electric energy like lightning. Instead, we use different energy sources to create electrical energy by using generators and turbines. Another form of energy is nuclear energy. A nuclear energy is the energy stored in the nucleus of an atom. Nuclear energy is unusual in that it can give off energy in the form of light or heat, but it is the change in the atom's makeup that produces the energy. Submarines, power plants, and smoke detectors all use nuclear energy. Nuclear power plants use uranium, a radioactive element, to create electricity. Another form is thermal energy. Thermal energy is the internal energy in substances. The vibration and movement of atoms and molecules within substance. Thermal energy is created in the movement of atoms. Boiling water, burning wood, and rubbing your hands together really fast are examples of heat energy. Geothermal and passive solar are sources of heat energy, but biomass, a type of chemical energy, can be burned to produce heat energy. Next is the sound energy. Sound energy is the movement of molecules in the air that produces vibrations, alarms, music, a speech, ultrasound, medical equipment all use sound energy. VCR tapes change sound energy into electrical energy. The electrical energy records the sound using magnetic tape. Speakers read the magnetic tape and change it back into the sound. Next is the magnetic energy. 
Magnetic energy is the attraction of objects made of iron, medical equipment, compass, refrigerator, magnets are all examples of magnetic energy. Any type of energy source that uses a generator in the process to make electricity uses magnetic energy. And the last but not the least is the mechanical energy. Potential energy plus kinetic energy is equals to mechanical energy. Example of energy changes in a swing or pendulum. So, in order for you to understand more about mechanical energy, let's study what is potential energy and kinetic energy. Now, let's move on to the two types of energy. We have kinetic energy and potential energy. A kinetic energy exists whenever an object which has mass is in motion with some velocity. Everything you see moving about has kinetic energy. The kinetic energy of an object in this case is given by the relation. So the formula here is Ke is equals to 1 half times mv2. M stands for mass of the object. V stands for velocity of the object. The greater the mass or velocity of a moving object, the more kinetic energy it has. Let's take a look at the picture being shown. Which of the two has greater kinetic energy? You are right! The truck has greater kinetic energy. Always remember that the greater the mass or velocity of a moving object, the more kinetic energy it has. And the last type is the potential energy. A potential energy exists whenever an object which has mass has a position within a force field. The most everyday example of this is the position of objects in the Earth's gravitational field. The potential energy of an object in this case is given by the relation. The formula is PE is equals to MGH. PE stands for energy in joules. M stands for mass in kilograms. G stands for gravitational accelerations of the Earth. And H stands for height above Earth's surface in meters. Now, let's study about the meaning of work. What is work? A work is the transfer of energy through motion. In order for work to take place, a force must be exerted through a distance. The amount of work done depends on two things, the amount of force exerted and the distance over which the force is applied. There are two factors to keep in mind when deciding when work is being done. Something has to move and the motion must be in the direction of the applied force. Work can be calculated by using the following formula. Work is equal to force times distance. Let's have an example here. Work is done on the books when they are being lifted, but no work is done on them when they are being held or carried horizontally. At dito na po nagtatapos ang ating talakayan ngayong araw. Maraming salamat sa pakikinig at huwag kalimutang mag-subscribe kung gustong matuto dahil araw-araw niyong makakasama si Teacher Amy. Sana ay marami kayong matutunan sa ating klase. Paalam mga bata!